Hey folks and welcome to Performance Training's Daily Diesel. What I'm going to chat to you about today is your arrive at home routine from work. Because not working doesn't necessarily mean that you are um, restoring your energy levels and rejuvenating yourself so you arrive, you know, refreshed the next day to, to work and family life. So here's four very practical tips that you can use. Number one is make that first activity when you get home from work um, something that creates psychological distance from work. So what could that be? Could be listening to music, um, it could be taking the dogs for a walk, it could be going for a shower, it could be changing out of your work clothes. Number two then is um, to incorporate some movement into that evening routine. So, and actually this is kind of interchangeable with point number one. You could maybe do this first thing as well. Um, so what could that be? Um, it could be taking the dogs for a walk um, or, um, you know, stretching on your yoga mat. Because here's the thing, emotional tension that can be kind of stocked up over a day of making decisions or having some hard conversations at work requires physical release. And that's why it's important to get some movement into your evening. Number three is to get very intentional about what you're not going to do. So, you know, 30 minutes on Facebook per evening over a year equates to 24 working days. Um, you know, so that's over actually, including weekends, that's over a month of an average working month so um really crazy when you do the maths like that so getting deliberate that you know you're not going to do that and having a kind of a, an evening ritual of things that you will do or you know activities that that kind of that will be done uh, to avoid uh, go, avoid that kind of um stimulation let's say and then number four is to um, be very aware of how you're going to disconnect from work and not actually work. So I'm really talking about your smartphone here. You know, 30 years ago, we had no way of accessing uh, work when we came home in the evening. Now we're, we have that constant temptation. So what are you going to do with your phone to make sure you're not reacting to it? any pings that come in could it be a case that you're going to put it in another room you're going to put it on do not disturb mode maybe do not disturb mode's not enough that you still find yourself checking it maybe airplane mode maybe locking it away um or having a separate work and personal iphone whatever that is to you and maybe if it's vital to be on email maybe you can exchange those responsibilities with a colleague that you do one week on one week off and that you only then, instead of checking your emails um, every 10 minutes, you only go on twice and make it an hourly thing. Um, and also, think about, you know, when you're writing emails and um, it can be a good idea not to actually send them there and then because you can create an email thread in the evening and you can also have your colleagues, maybe people who are working for your team that you're managing and they feel under pressure um, that they have to be constantly on and that could maybe lead to resentment in the long term all right so i hope this has helped um and yeah you can work a little bit on your arrive at home routine with a couple of do's and do nots there um yeah happy friday and looking forward to bringing you another daily diesel soon ciao ciao